Hello everyone! Let us find the general equation of a circle with center na nasa negative 1 at negative 1 and tangent to the line 3x plus 4y is equal to 1. Here's the illustration ng ating problem. Ito yung center ng ating circle. And then, meron tayong tangent line na 3x plus 4y is equal to 1. Ito siya. When you talk about tangent line, yung line na to ay tumatama lang at a single point sa ating circle na nandito. And then, we have our radius here na tumatama rin dito sa ating point na to na tinatawag nating point of tangency. For us to set up our problem, ang gagawin ko muna is dun sa ating tangent line na 3x plus 4y is equal to 1, gawin ko muna siyang in the form ng ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Gagawin natin to in preparation dun sa ating formula na gagamitin mamaya. Ang problema na lang natin is si 1 na nasa right side. Kaya ililipat lang natin siya sa kabila. So, our equation will be 3x plus 4y. Si positive 1 ay magiging negative 1 is equal to 0. Ang a natin is si 3. Ang b natin ay si 4. At ang c natin ay si negative 1. Ngayong na-setup na natin yung ating tangent line, let us work with our circle na yung center ay nasa negative 1 at negative 1. The standard equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Where yung h natin is the x-coordinate ng ating center, c negative 1, at si k naman natin ay si y coordinate ng ating center which is also negative 1. Kaya isa-substitute lang natin sila dito sa ating standard equation, we will be arriving at x minus ang h natin ay negative 1 and then squared plus y minus k natin is also negative 1 and then squared is equal to r squared. Simplifying our equation further, ito ay magiging x plus 1 and then squared plus y plus 1 and then squared. This is equal to r squared. Kailangan na lang nating hanapin yung value ng radius natin para makompleto natin si standard equation. Then, ibabalik na natin siya into its general equation kasi yun yung hinahanap ng ating problem. To find the value of r, gagamitin natin yung formula for perpendicular distance ng isang point at isang line. So, that is equal to d. The perpendicular distance is equal to the absolute value of a, x sub 0, plus b, y sub 0, plus c. And then, this is all over the square root of a squared plus b squared. Kaya natin inayos yung ating tangent line into this form. Kasi meron na tayong value ng a, ng b, at ng c na gagamitin natin on this formula. Eh sir, bakit applicable yung formula natin? Kasi when we look at our point, this is simply the center of our circle with the coordinates h and k. So, ibig sabihin, yung x sub 0, that is just simply the h, at yung y sub 0, that is just simply the k. So, that is for the point. And then, yung line naman natin is 3x plus 4y is equal to 1. A property ng isang circle tsaka ng tangent line is that yung tangent line natin is perpendicular to the radius na tumatama dun sa point of tangency. Kaya this formula is applicable. Our radius r forms a right angle with our tangent line 3x plus 4y is equal to 1. Pwede na natin gamitin yung ating formula. Pero let us put this in the context of our problem. As I have said earlier, meron na tayong value ng a nung b tsaka nung c from our tangent line. At yung x sub 0 natin tsaka yung y sub 0 is just equal to our h tsaka yung k respectively. So sulat natin lahat ng yun. The perpendicular distance is the radius is equal to still the absolute value of a. Ang x sub 0 natin is the h plus b. Ang y sub 0 natin is the k plus c and then this is all over the square root of a squared plus b squared. Gamitin na natin yung formula. Ang a natin is 3, ang b natin is 4, ang c natin is negative 1, ang h natin is negative 1, ang k natin is also negative 1. Substituting all of those values sa ating formula, r is equal to the absolute value of a is 3 
h is negative 1 plus b is 4, k is negative 1 plus c is negative 1. And then, this is all over the square root of a natin is 3 squared plus ang b natin is 4 squared. Iperperform na lang natin yung ating operation sa ating formula. So, this is equal to the absolute value of 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 and then still plus negative 1. And then this is all over the square root of 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16. Kaya 9 plus 16, this is square root of 25. Tuloy na natin, this is negative 3 plus negative 4 plus negative 1. This is the absolute value of negative 8. So this is all over, the square root of 25 is just 5. The absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8. Kaya we arrive at our answer which is 8 all over 5. And that is the radius of our circle. Kailangan na lang natin siyang isubstitute dito sa value ng ating r. And then we can already simplify our equation. So we have x plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to r squared. Derate na lang natin siya sa baba. This is x plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to, ang r natin is 8 over 5, so this is 8 all over 5 squared. Then performing the operation, x plus 1 squared, this is just the square of a binomial. Kung alam mo yung formula, pwede mong idiretso, pero we can take it one step at a time. x plus 1 squared, ibig sabihin, multiply natin si x plus 1 by itself 2 times. Kasi meron tayong exponent na 2. So this can be represented as x plus 1 times x plus 1. And then plus, same here, si y plus 1 squared, this is y plus 1 times y plus 1. This is equal to... For our right side, sa 8 over 5 squared, pwede nating i-distribute yung ating exponent sa numerator at sa denominator. Kaya ang gagawin natin, so this will become 8 squared all over 5 squared. Then tuloy tayo sa ating operations. Ito, we can use FOIL method. Multiplication na lang siya. So we have our x times x, that is x squared. Next, we have our x times 1, that is just x, plus we have our 1 times x, so that is still x, plus yung 1 times 1 naman natin, that is just simply 1, plus same multiplication lang tayo sa ating y, we have our y times y, that is y squared, plus y times 1, that is y, plus sa so nasa loob naman tayo, we have our 1 times y, that is just still y, plus, lastly, we have our 1 times 1, that is just 1, and this is equal to 8 squared is 64, all over 5 squared is 25, kaya we arrive at 64 over 25. Then, tuloy lang sa ating left side, we have our x squared, meron tayong dalawang x, so x plus x, this is just 2x. Iwan ko muna yung constant, mamaya na siya, so we have our y squared, plus y plus y, that is equal to 2y. Tapos yung 1 natin na nandito, tsaka yung 1 natin na nandito, 1 plus 1, that is just equal to 2. This is equal to 64 over 25. Tapos ilipat na lang natin si 64 over 25 sa kabila, and then rearrange natin na magkasama si x squared tsaka si y squared sa umpisa, kasi ganun yung itsura ng ating general equation. Kaya this will become x squared plus y squared plus 2x, plus 2y, plus 2, yung positive 64 over 25 will become negative 64 over 25 is equal to 0. For our last step, i-perform na lang natin yung operation na to. Yung 2 natin is a whole number na meron siyang denominator na 1. Ang LCD ng 1 at 25 ay 25, kaya we will be going with our denominator na 25. Kaya our equation will look like x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 2y. Tapos yung 2 natin will become 50 all over 25. And then minus 64 over 25 is equal to 0. 
we can now perform yung subtraction dito kasi they have the same denominator of 25. Kaya for our final answer, we have x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 2y and then 50 minus 60 for this is negative 14 all over 25 is equal to 0. This is the general equation of our circle with the center negative 1 and negative 1 at tangent line 3x plus 4y is equal to 1. Thank you.